Barry? Yep. You good? Mm -hmm. yep. And I'm rolling. 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 And Ben Shea. You're rolling, Barry? Yep. Here we go, guys. Let me give you four clicks. It's going to be awesome. When I was designing the stick, I had to think about how I practice when I go home from a tour. So in other words, when I'm home in my practice space and I'm comfortable, I'm not playing for a crowd, how am I playing? Because that's really me, that's all natural. Sitting down and talking about the design of my signature stick was really fun because I got to evaluate um, basically my strengths and weaknesses as a drummer. I don't have incredibly long arms, so when I'm playing you know, all of these cymbals, I have to be able to reach them and reach them in a way that's quick. And so what we did was we took the length of the stick and we extended it from the stick I had been playing prior. It's very accommodating for me because I like to sit back a little bit more on my throne sit straight up, keep my back straight. Therefore, the stick's a little bit longer to accommodate that kind of playing style. What I do when I go home and set up for practice, I set it up so it's, all, it's extremely ergonomical. I can move around the kit very quickly. And I think a lot of guys are extremely concerned about the power of playing and not so concerned maybe about the flow. So when I designed this stick, I had it in mind that I needed power, of course, but that maybe more importantly I needed the balance of a little bit heavier in my hand and not so much in the front of the stick. The shows I play are very long and so it's easy to get tired and worn out. And I'd be hitting powerfully for the first two, three, four songs, but what about the last ten? After practicing with it, it's just absolutely amazing how much I can sit back and just feel the bounce of everything you know, back at me because the balance of the stick um, creates space for that. So the 5A is a little light for my style, for my taste, <clears throat> and the 5B is, well, a little heavy. I like to be able to hit hard if I need to and know that the stick's not going to break in half, but at the same time know that the next part, um, I don't have to worry about how loud it's going to sound because the diameter of the stick is just too much. The um, stick tip itself is unique in that it has a little bit of a point on it. I love the sound of, of tight hi-hats with a stick that can actually play them in such a way that you can hear every little nuance. I have a lot of stick definition with this tip, but I also have a lot of versatility too. You know, hitting super hard on my drums in, in, in uh, certain parts and then transitioning into really quiet parts where you can hear every single nuance. The signature stick has no finish on it. It is finishless. It just feels more natural to me, and there's not that thin coating that separates your hand from you know, the way the wood feels. I play, and I play hard, and I play for a very long time when I'm on tour with my band. We're playing 15 songs a night, plus a drum solo, and it's hot, and it's tiring, and I'm sweaty and I'm tired by the end of it. And so any help I can get 
is help I'll take. And a stick that is gripping to my hand in just the right way is all I can ask for. And all I can say is that this stick, you purchase them, you take them home, you'll immediately realize, I think, that the way your hand sweats, the way your body sweats, and you know, just the way you play in general, it, it's, it creates a hold or a grip that's more conducive to um, staying loose. I get a bundle of sticks before a tour, and I'm relieved to know that I'm playing for a company that cares about every single you know, detail of their product. It's funny how when you sit down, you can tell all the little, I don't know, if a stick's too light or it's too heavy, or it's just not consistent, and I've never had that experience with Vic Firth. I've always had confidence in the product that they put out. And I'm honored to be a part of the roster uh, a part of the company um, and friends with people that are there at the company making the decisions um, that make these sticks uh, what they are. <laughs>